when people dive on a coral reef, most of them don't come back raving about the coral, the coral heads. They come back talking about all the beautiful fish, multicolored fishes and other invertebrates that they saw. Oysters provide the same hard substrate as those corals did. Those fishes and other invertebrates wouldn't be on that oyster, on that coral reef without those corals. And there are species within the Chesapeake Bay like mussels and clams and barnacles and worms and anemones and mogula and whole bunches of other things that also, that colonize the hard substrate, which are the oysters. And that attracts larger invertebrates and fishes and whatever else. So it's really a very complex reef community that develops around our oyster plantings that's important. And when you start talking about the ecological value and the you know water clarity is one, a lot of those other species are also filter feeders. So people talk about how many gallons of per day an oyster can filter. Uh, but the barnacles and the clams and the mussels and the anemones and the mogula are also filter feeders. So it's not the value, it's not how many gallons a day those oysters remove, it's the gallons per day that the whole oyster reef community filters. And that's really important. Uh, and by doing that, they're filtering phytoplankton out, which removes a lot of the nutrients or the result of the nutrients. Phytoplankton is a result of increased nu nutrients. So oysters are actually cleaning the water and removing excess nitrogen and phosphorus into the food chain that other animals take advantage of.